here you can have a closer look of the piston that's the piston skirt uh, the wall of the piston is called the piston skirt that's the first compression ring the top one is the first compression ring beneath that we have the second compression ring okay and beneath that particular ring is the oil ring so we have three rings on the piston and uh, the function of this ring uh, first compression ring and second one is to avoid compression leakage and the oil ring is uh, to avoid the engine oil from going into the compression chamber and also uh, lubricating the skirt of the piston these rings are uh, kept in 120 degree apart as the opening you can see the opening of each of the ring these openings will be set in 120 degree apart as i am pointing on the surface of the piston okay now uh, let's see the gudgeon pin and the circlip that's the gudgeon pin and the circlip which locks it this is used to uh, fix uh, the connecting rod with the piston you can see the connecting rod is locked with the piston using the gudgeon pin and the circlip that's the connecting rod over there uh, that's the big end of the uh, connecting rod which is fixed towards the crankshaft and that's the small end which is connected towards the piston using the uh, gudgeon uh, pin over there okay and that's the compression chamber where the compression is happening that's a chamber inside the piston itself as shown here this is a piston of a diesel engine of a jcb uh, back hollowed machine and this is a fracture a split connecting rod to ensure good mating of the big end of the uh, connecting rod which is engaging with the uh, crankshaft so uh, these are the components coming in the crankshaft and the piston for more tutorial videos please visit my youtube channel or blog please rate us and do subscribe